Hi, this is Amelia. I'm here to recommend an audiobook from our Libby app to you. All right. The name of this audiobook is A Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoet, and it is by David Mitchell. So this book is set in the time of the Dutch East Indies Company and the main character Jacob de Zoet is a clerk and he travels to Tajima in Japan where he is going to be employed by the Dutch East Indies Company to help with the negotiations with the Japanese around trade. And this uh, place where he goes, Tajima, is a floating island that the Japanese have set up because in their laws, the foreigners are not allowed onto the main part of Japan. They are only allowed onto this little island. So he kind of lives in this contained little village community specifically for foreigners, which is very interesting. Um, Jacob has some moral standards that come into um, conflict when he shortly after he arrives and it changes his path immensely and he also for forms a friendship with a young medical student who has um, a facial scarring and he becomes very interested in this young woman because she is different from the other people he has met um, there's a lot of things going on in this story, different um, characters and storylines to follow, uh, but at the end they kind of are solving a bit of a problem. I can't give too much away. Anyway, it's very interesting to learn about the history of the Dutch East Indies Company and Japan as well. and. The mystery that they kind of solve at the end has a like, slightest supernatural element and you wouldn't even really notice it, it seems like it comes from myth. But if you do want to go down the David Mitchell, ra Mitchell rabbit hole, the other novels, um, Slade House, The Bone Clocks, also tie into this world. So if you end up liking um, A Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoet, you might want to follow that path and find out more about the uh, uh, the supernatural world that's ever so slightly linked to this book. I would give this book five out of five stars and I hope you enjoy listening to the audiobook. I think it's really well narrated. Thanks!